Good morning, Calvary. Happy Monday. It's Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. And uh, we're continuing in Col Colossians, and I'll be looking at verses 21 and 22 uh, for a moment. But first, let me just say thank you for including me in your day. Thank you for allowing me to influence your spiritual life. Thank you for allowing me to serve you as your pastor and, and as your leader. It is a privilege that I have that honor. And, uh, but I have to point out that as privileged as I am to, to serve you in that capacity, uh, the real privilege is for us in the fact that God Almighty includes us in His family and in His kingdom, especially given how the relationship started. Colossians chapter 1, verses 21 and 22, and today I'm reading out of the New Living Translation because I like the way it says this. Uh, Paul writes, this includes you. He's talking about the gospel, the good news of Jesus. He says, this includes you who were once far away from God. You were his enemies, separated from him by your evil thoughts and actions. Yet now Christ has reconciled you to himself through the death of Jesus in his physical body. As a result, he has brought you into his own presence and you are holy and blameless as you stand before him without a single fault. Now, those are some incredible words that I want you to think through just this morning to, to brighten your day, to encourage your day, to, to help you to feel as special as the Word of God says you are. Think about this. We were enemies towards God. We were hostile towards Him. We were consumed with our evil thoughts and our evil actions. And what did God do? Did God uh, dismiss us? No. Did God condemn us? No. Did God obliterate us, which is what we deserved? No. What God did was He saved us. He sent His one and only Son into this world to pay for your sins and my sins so that we could become sons and daughters of God when we place our faith in Jesus Christ. That is an incredible truth. That is a life-changing truth. That is a life-reorienting truth. And so today, I want you to ponder that. I want you just to think about that. Every single moment of the day, let, let that encourage you because you are loved, you are included, you are wanted by God enough to make the ultimate sacrifice of giving His one and only Son for you. I know, He did it for others as well. He did it for me, He did it for your family, He did it for the people uh, that you'll never meet on other sides of the earth, but He did it for you. And if you're a follower of Jesus, he has included you in his family, and he calls you his son or his daughter. Now, I hope that that inspires you. I pray it gives you hope and encouragement as you live today for Jesus, included in his kingdom and in his family. God bless and have a beautiful day.